America used to own the stars, but now China is gaining ground and is almost neck and neck with the US. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC launched an unknown payload to low Earth orbit. The payload was launched atop a Long March 2D carrier rocket from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center in southwest China. China conducted another successful orbital launch today on November the 5th, 2021 Eastern Time. It's no secret that China is desperate to make a major splash in the modern space race. The latest news that comes from China appears to have everything to do with Elon Musk. Up until now, NASA has largely dominated the world that exists outside our planet for a number of decades. Meanwhile, space agencies of China, India and Russia have also developed remarkably well, but none seem to possess similar resources or achievements as NASA. However, over the years, a number of non-government-run US companies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin have been able to inject enough capital into their businesses that they're making NASA appear like a startup. Amidst increasing popularity of SpaceX and their goal to make space tourism a real thing, a new contender enters the market, none other than China. So, how exactly is China giving competition in the space industry? Let's dive right in and find out. It was just last month when a Chinese firm announced some of its latest plans regarding space travel. However, it was specifically the private space travel part of that announcement that has sown some discord in the space industry. Up until now, the main contenders of private space travel have been SpaceX and Blue Origin. Although Boeing and the Sierra Nevada Corporation also have similar future plans, there is a single factor that ties them all together. The fact that all of the mentioned companies are based in the United States. Similarly, the government organizations of the US have perhaps the most experience and resources compared to any other government-owned space agency in the world, making it a force to be reckoned with. One reason, of course, is the fact that the US also happens to be the country that spends the most on its space agency. This pictorial representation does a great job at putting out that comparison between NASA and any other space agency in the world. These stats essentially illustrates the leading nations with the biggest government expenditure on space projects from 2014 to 2020. As far as 2020, the United States was by far the top spender, with government space program spending equal to nearly 47 billion US dollars. However, why is it a point of interest? It was only recently that NASA entered into an agreement with SpaceX for a contract regarding moon landing. Both space firms will utilize each other's resources, expertise, and manpower for the mission. This contract alone goes a long way in showing who is running the show in the space race nowadays. It is at a time like this that a Chinese company announces their own plans. Not only are there a lot of similarities with a number of American companies, but they also have the very same mission to open space travel for tourists across the globe. Does that put SpaceX directly into a competition with China? Most definitely. And only time will tell if the copycat mechanism at play here will be able to successfully dominate a company like SpaceX. The Chinese launch business plans to offer tourist voyages to space as early as 2024. The firm has brought forward rockets that appear just like SpaceX's Starship and Blue Origin's New Shepard. CAS Space, which is essentially a business section of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, is already working on rockets for commercial satellite launches. Space.com has also gone on to state that the corporation hopes to send people into space, although for a limited duration. And this is going to happen starting as early as August 2022. An announcement like this puts SpaceX squarely in competition with this Chinese startup, which looks to be duplicating the mechanics SpaceX has taken decades to understand on its own. However, the sheer resemblance between the optics of this Chinese rocket and that of Blue Origin and Starship is what has been raising eyebrows across the world. A number of websites, including Science Times, reported this development whilst also highlighting the copycat aspect in these rockets. Amidst a controversy such as this, it can be important to have a look at the statements released by this Chinese company. At the moment, Zhongke Aerospace has completed the demonstration test of the Launch Vehicle Recovery Principle prototype and the full system test run of the 15-ton Xuan-1 liquid rocket engine and is building a new generation of reusable liquid launch vehicle and returnable trip cabin. It's expected to carry out the first suborbital flight demonstration test in 2022, unmanned suborbital flights in 2023, and suborbital tourist services from 2024. 
It is estimated that nearly 1,000 passengers can be transported into space every year. The landing site for the launch and recovery of the aircraft will also be planned and constructed as a whole with the Aerospace Theme Park, Space Experience Hall, and Aerospace Science Education Base. Passengers will receive short-term training here before flying. During the 10-minute flight, passengers will traverse the 100-kilometer von Kármán curve and experience the weightlessness of getting rid of the gravity of Earth in three minutes. Finally, the travel cabin will land safely by parachute and the passengers will return to Earth safely. At present, there are about 500 people in the world who have entered the moon, space stations, and suborbital. According to international practice, passengers who participate in suborbital tourism can be awarded the title of astronaut. At the same time, the aircraft is developed carefully in conformity with the manned space standards. Even if it fails, the travel cabin utilizes its own engine system to escape, drive the travel cabin away from the rocket, and trigger the self-landing mechanism to return to the Earth safely. The cooperation agreement this Chinese company signed to make this project a reality was posted publicly and has been translated in English to have a better look at the aims of the company. In the future, the two parties will rely on their respective advantages in technology, talents, management, capital, etc. to integrate technological innovation, strengthen experience sharing and cooperation in aerospace-related fields, and strive to achieve more transformation of scientific and technological achievements, so that satellite constellations can serve the public and a better life. So everyone has the opportunity to embrace the stars and the sea, travel dreams of space, and look at our bright blue planet. These words are quoted directly from the agreement posted by the company online. It is safe to say that it's not just the optics of the rocket and the mechanisms employed by this company that seem a little too similar to its American counterparts. The mission statement and the way CAS Space plans to turn these goals into reality also appear to have been replicated from the likes of SpaceX. However, having said that, it appears clear that space tourism has become a reality, owing to a handful of corporate moguls pushing their limits. It was once nothing more than a fantasy or a common subject in science fiction books and movies, but SpaceX, Boeing, Blue Origin, and even up-and-coming companies like CAS are bringing this closer to reality every day. Similarly, Virgin Galactic's Richard Branson and Blue Origin's Jeff Bezos have already gone to suborbital space. While Musk has not traveled to space, SpaceX launched four people into orbit for a three-day voyage. And now, China is the next nation to embrace space tourism, with a civilian crew planned to launch in less than two years. According to the Daily Mail, the reusable rocket will go through a series of tests before being launched. A suborbital demonstration is scheduled for next year, followed by an unmanned flight in 2023. Then, in 2024, they plan to launch the first suborbital human space tourism voyage. Can it be said that the CAS's space plans for space tourism rockets are somewhat ambitious? It's safe to say that the Chinese company's ambitions seem more ambitious for space tourism given the short time they're allotting to the entire project. Considering that, American aerospace firms have clearly spent years developing their spacecraft before actually going ahead and sending people into space. According to CAS Space, the civilian crew will get some form of short-term training before the launch. However, no particular reference was made as to the kind of instruction they would get. Do you think SpaceX feels threatened by the increasing competition in the space industry? Feel free to let us know your thoughts in the comments below.